the age of the jet was beginning. But before the tragedy of the arrow could unfold, another disaster was in the making. In 1946, the company embarked on its first project, a four-engine passenger jet which they hoped to sell to Trans-Canada Airlines, later known as Air Canada. TCA was intrigued by the idea of being the first North American airline to offer a jet service. Intrigued and perhaps frightened. They were troubled by the jetliner. They didn't think they could make a profit on it and eventually withdrew their support. The company then tried to market the plane in the United States. There was a triumphant publicity flight to New York carrying the world's first jet airmail. And the New York Times said, Uncle Sam has no monopoly on genius. Now, national airlines ordered four of the aircraft with an option on a further six. It was too late. The Korean War had started and C.D. Howe ordered Avro to put its whole production effort behind a new fighter for the RCAF. Howard Hughes leased the plane for six months and used it as a personal toy. In 1957, the same year Boeing captured the market with its 707, the jetliner was broken up into scrap.